All right, what's going on, Faniverse? It's your boy, Louis G, and we're gonna do our third collection um, showcase. So, let's go see. All right, we're gonna get here at the spot real quick. I'm not gonna tell you who it is. Who is he? What's going on? Oh, what's up, Fandomverse? Welcome to my home. <laughs> so as you know, we are going to do the collection showcase. And my boy, Arm, What's up? Avery, Black Panther, We're gonna finally Nick do a Fury. Showcase of the Armory. So let's start off this walk through here. So he's got a whole like superhero theme thing going on not, not yet, not yet. in his house. This way, this way. In his house. It's got like the Hulk blanket. Somebody messed up my door. Man, what? I didn't, man, someone must have been sitting there. <laughs> Everything in here is either Star Wars, comic book. Check out this cool Black Panther. Yeah, where'd so you get that at, man? That looks... Man. <laughs> and then if you go down here, he's got some... Uh, look, look and he's watching, he's watching I love, MASH. I know I love MASH. Don't be talking about my MASH. Man, I swear to God. <laughs> There's a reincarnated old white dude in his in him <laughs> right now. <laughs> All right, everybody. So come this way. I know we're going to focus mainly on my toy collection. But I would want you guys to see real quick what it looked like in my bedroom because you can finally see the famous wall of hats in the collection showcase video. I have over 100 hats on this wall, spanning from Marvel to DC. I got Spider-Man, Daredevil, Green Arrow, Wolverine. I have about, the most hat types I have are Black Panther, Venom, and Batman. Um... Man, I knew you had hats, but yes. I didn't know you had this many hats. And these are just the ones that are on the wall. I have um, overflow hats in the closet. Looks like I got some watches over here. I didn't dust this area, you guys, but here's my, my watch collection that I've been collecting since around 2000. Uh, yeah, it's Man, brother, the only thing you've been collecting over here is dust. dust. I got a Scarecrow watch. You know, I got some Captain America, Red Hood, Spider-Man, all different types of watches, but, you know. All right, let's go down here and check out the, the 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 closet. The closet. I organize it. Got some artwork up on the wall. I try to organize my shirts. I have some comic books for my boy Louis G. It's got the uh, Black Panther. I mean, I, I mean, I mean, I'm just saying. Like, turn off this light right here. Oh, where's the light at? And put the, and put the helmet light on. Put, no, no. I'm walking by, and you know, I can clench the glare of something that moves or something. Like that. Man, what if I come in and you didn't see that and it moves for whatever reason? My security right and you, there. man, security, I, I poop on myself walking <laughs> in here looking at that, blinking and glowing at me. Well, so hold on, you got some some dog tags in here. Yeah, my dog tag collection, and look, there's um some tap lights underneath there. Tap it, you see? I installed those. Look each, at that. each level will have those. Yeah, I was bored one day, so I organized all my stuff. So I'm not usually this this clean, but in my air studs. <laughs> Even though I mostly stick to the, the Punisher one, but you know, I got, got my some beans, beans on there. And then the rest of the stuff under there is like um, equipment for some of my late night missions, you know, stuff I can't show you guys. But Is I, I is I, should I say? And then right oh. here, and then real quickly, the, the master bedroom, the master bathrooms, my Batman bathroom. Got the, bat, the Batman shower curtain, the mat, I have some Batman artwork on the wall. Um, you know, Batman trash can, some ba uh, Batman shelf that I got from the Hobby Lobby. Uh, this little light up thing right here I got from GameStop. It's a Pixel Pal. You ever seen these? I have now. They're pretty dope. They have them in Street Fighter, Batman. It's just a Batman bathroom. The Bat The Bat Cave. I gotta take a Bat Doo Doo. No. That's what I call it. Same Bat time. I use Bat. bat. It have some Hulk. Some Hulk. Stuff up in the kitchen, and then a lot of the movie cups I get from the movies we go to, I put up here. My cup collection. You don't need to see my bills. Then there's a guest bathroom, which is the Spider Man bathroom. Been in here a few times. Just a few times. And then you have my hilarious uh, Spider Man Hulk at the urinal um, shower curtain I got from the Wish app. You know, I have a Spider Verse um, poster behind the door. 
Venomverse, actually. Yes, a Venomverse poster. Pretty dope. That is pretty dope. All right, you guys. The moment you've been waiting for. You got a light in here? Oh, it's dark? Oh, you can turn that back on. The Armory. Come on in. You gotta go kind of slow because you gotta take it all in. So this room right here, it serves many purposes. It's my home office, it's an art studio, and it's my collection room. Um, if you can see in this area, I have my art desks, my digital art area, my Wacom tablet, my two monitors. This is where I do all my graphic design and digital artwork. And then as you can see, I'm just gonna I'm gonna kind of be all over the place about stuff I have. You know, these are the legacy Power Ranger figures from Bandai. I have my little collection of the Toy Biz Lightning collection starting right here. I have this giant Deadpool standee that I won from 7 Eleven the week the first movie came out. So, folks, if you go to 7 uh, Eleven and they're missing their standout cut I out. I won in a raffle. Look, don't. They did a raffle. Look, it says raffle. And also charity. How you gonna make me? How you gonna try to make me look Stole it. <laughs> I was driving with it in the back seat. That's what you use for carpooling right there. That is my carpool, dummy. So, yeah. I got some original. Art by arm artwork up here. Yes, sir. Some of them are dated, but you know, that's when I used to do the square square artwork back um, when Suicide Squad came out. Have a Wonder Woman piece signed by Adam Hughes. These are three of my favorite hats right here. I have a Wolverine hat signed by Lynn Wynn. Um, years ago, I used to do graphic design work for Lynn Wynn's management team. So when I would see him at conventions, I can get stuff signed from him. He was a really nice guy. Uh, Rob Liefeld signed that for me in California at FatCon for Fat Collectibles. Um, some months before Deadpool 1 came out. And then in 2013, Stan Lee signed my Punisher hat at Stan Lee's Kamikaze. He was a really nice guy. Um, I got that strip right there. I got that from Toys R Us off of um, Meadows. <laughs> they, let me, they let me take it. They're like, oh, we're not going to use it for anything. So I'm like, all right. Right wow. here is my traditional drawing table. I have a bunch of Funko Pops on it. This is where I do my digital, my traditional inking, my traditional drawing, my traditional marker drawings and stuff like that. Um, you know, when I want to take a break from digital. And right here, this is the keeper of the cave, Black Adam. He's an African dwarf frog. I don't know if he's, is it picking up on the camera? What's picking up on the camera? He's yeah, he's hidden in there somewhere. Well, trust me, guys, there's a frog in there. His name is Black Adam. He's dangerous. Man, I've been in here a bunch of times. I never knew there was actual. You never knew there was a frog. In I there? thought that was just for decoration, like a lamp with light with water in it. No, there's a frog in there. I'm gonna show you. Do you feed it? Yeah, blood worms. All right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So you come around here. Uh, these are my convention passes. I've been going to conventions for damn near over 15 years. So between California and Vegas, uh, Kamikaze, San Diego Comic Con, WonderCon, uh, Long Beach Comic Con, Las Vegas Comic Con, Love Love Expo, all kinds of different conventions. I just keep my lanyards, I keep the passes. Um, I have some older original artwork up there. These are all my original characters. Uh, they're a bit dated as far as the artwork style, but these are all yeah, my own creations. Um, you come over here to my first detail case. Um, on top, I have some loose figures. Sometimes I'll get certain figures in duplicate. Um, I'll put the loose ones on top. As you see, I love characters who have swords or who look very dangerous and skeleton-like. <laughs> but, um, check out this Deadpool. I got this from the, um, first toy con I ever attended. Oh, it has a keychain. Oh, see, I think the light actually kind of... Made it expand, but it used to snap into there. Oh, it snaps now. This is one of my first statues that I actually got. The Deadpool statue. Uh, keep them back there. I got it at ToyCon when it was at um Circus Circus. You were at that one too, right? Yes. I probably walked past you and just didn't even know who you were. Then we have the Black Adam gang. He's grown over the years. There are still quite a few Black Adam figures I got to get. And you know, once The Rock does this movie, that's just going to create a whole another problem. 
because it's going to be much more merchandise for me to collect. Right here, I love Voltron growing up. And then I also love the DreamWorks one they made for um, Netflix. So I have the actual Voltron, legendary Voltron um, uh, robots, the collectible robots that you can build all together. Plus, I have different robot figures that were already all together. They were just, you know, how light and sound and effects. And I have the three figures they released. I have Shiro, I have Keith, and I have Lance. He loves Voltron so much. So much. Oh, here we go. <laughs> and this has been sitting on the in, ground for the last six months. In progress. I promise by Christmas. The furthest he's gotten to <laughs> getting to build this thing, he took the wrap take, off. Taking the tape off of <laughs> And the only reason they're kind of jambled in there is because I moved it one time and dropped all the pieces out of it. That is the only reason. So, look, Mr. Guys, Voltron. Y'all can hold, look, if, if, by, if by January 1st, 2020, if that's not together, you don't see any pictures, y'all can all hold me accountable and give me shit about it. Folks, he's not going to put that together. I am. I'm going to do it. <laughs> it's going to be done through the holidays. You come over here, and here's my Black Panther collection. It. I have all the Marvel Legends for Black Panther, um, the 12-inch Legends. I have some of the the light-action toys, Banks, uh, so much stuff to watch. Is. It just, when the movie came out, the last time I had a collection like this is when the first Hulk movie came out in 2003. And my bedroom, when I lived at home, was just all Hulked out, bro. So, the watch. He's got the little beads from the, the movie. The little beads. Everything. Ooh, and they're heavy. They're real freaking heavy, man. Mini figures. I got the the Toy Biz, um, the Hasbro Kids figures. That looks dope. Yeah, man. I Welcome can, to Wakanda. I, I, I too can be from Wakanda now. You definitely can. We'd be all there mowing the 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 lawns and. No, no. Oh, you. Oh, here we go with that. <laughs> <laughs> so I have um, random Funko Pops here, and this is this is two levels, and they're three figures deep. So I'm not gonna go through all these i have over 100 funko pop figures but as you can see there's a mixture of spider-man characters venomized characters black panther characters um damn i have all my marvel legends down here lots of marvel legends and these these are like five five figures deep so you know just you see i got the infinite series um thor omega red spider gwen mysterio just random ones i even forgot that i have bought an extra um, just to send us to the open. I was like, what the hell is this? Uh, two packs. I got the Black Panther two pack. I won this one at um, Trade Night. The Craven and the Black Suit Spider Man. Um, there's a Ghost Rider back there somewhere. So, I mean, I mean I, I'm mean, i sure you collectors who know who are meant on cards when you start stacking things deep. And then right here, I have another shelf with some loose stuff on it. Um, I tried to make this theme up here Kylo Ren slash Venom slash carnage but you know i have different kylo ren figures i thought he was an awesome villain in um, star wars then um i have a beta ray bill figure up here this right here is the toy biz marvel legend version then you come down here i have some of my collector's cups i have some pezzes i have another beta ray bill the one i got from toy biz my that bad boy look real shiny very shiny and i, f I just found out that there's a cape he came with and it was a plastic cape so i gotta hunt that down too down here beta ray bill again um right there rest in peace my late buddy jamil i buy stuff for figures he likes he loves ahsoka tano from star wars so whatever i find funko pop or figure i'll just sit it right here next to his picture i love encyclopedias for like all kinds of stuff so you know i have the marvel encyclopedia the dc encyclopedia final fantasy Avengers, Suicide Squad art book, Black Panther movie art book, um, Capcom art book. I love art books for like different, you know, different realms and different universes. And down here, there are even more encyclopedias mixed in with um, some trade paperbacks. Some of my favorite comic books, like Infinite Crisis, Identity Crisis, one of my favorite books. Um, some how to draw books. Remember those old school wizard magazine mm -hmm. how to draw books? Um, and just like little, I mean, as you can see, little random loose figures and stuff. I just sit right here, but you know, I'm running out. <laughs> I'm starting to run out of room down here. I was able to fit some room in to put my um, the giant gladiator Hulk. You got some, um, is it picking up on there? The giant gladiator Hulk Funko Pop. Yeah, I know it's kind of dark down there, guys. 
you know, I'll just have some random loose stuff down here too. Um, nothing too busy. And then I still have not opened this yet either. <laughs> the Mesco Black Panther. So got some Toy Con earlier. Got that. You come right here. I have another uh, Detolve case up here. I tried to stick with a Thor slash Hercules slash God's theme. So I have, you know, I have two different versions of Hercules. I have Ares up here. I have different Thors, but I also have Gladiator Hulk. I have that dope ass um, Punisher um, gallery select statue we got earlier from Toy Con. You come down here, some more gallery select statues, Cloak and Dagger, Venom. I got that from Bill. Um, have uh, my very first Mezco, the Black Suit Spider Man, and then my beloved Beast Wars. And I'm sure some of you guys around heard me talk about how much I love Beast Wars. That was one of my favorite Transformer generation. Um, let me see what else I have right here. That helps a little bit. Yeah, some of my favorite Beast Wars, and I really like the Bug Bots. Um, you know, they're cool, they're versatile, they have these wings, they have these extra um, action features and these firing weapons. So dope. And then down here are more like the regular animals, you know, Silverbolt, Cheetor. Um, Ramulus, um, Dinobot, Rhinox. These are some some Transmittals and Transmittal 2s. And then down here, I have some of the smaller um, 3 and 3 quarter inch ones. They actually did. And they did a good job on those ones too. They gave them features and stuff as well. Um, there are still a uh, few Beast Wars I'm still looking for. There's an Inferno. It's an ant. I'm looking for that one. Let me guess. A red fire ant. It's a red fire ant, yeah. And I, I find it on Mercari. Um... You know, and this finally, that's where that's where the prime wage character is going to live on top of the shelf. It's Trust a big me, crowded. a lot of targets. <laughs> oh man, I'm just, between Target and Amazon, and you know, some more Marvel Legends. Not Marvel, yeah, Legends on the bottom. More Funko Pops, three boxes deep, two layers high, lots of them. You know, you can see some more Venomized down there. Uh, random ones. I got my Stan Lee Pop here. Let's go look at the back stock. This is uh, stuff he didn't want you to see. Oh, get that stuff up here, though. The, wait. Check this oh, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some of my um, my rare symbiote characters. Red Goblin, Agent Venom, thanks to Louie. Spider-Man in a black costume. That's the same one in the two-pack, huh? Mm-hmm. Uh, Superior Venom. No, you can't have a Venom. Um, Venom, Anti-Venom, and then Venom Pool. And then here goes the back stock. Here's the back stock. It's called I Didn't. This and It may not look like it, guys, but this is organized right here. This is, this is where I come to get some of my vintage stuff when I'm going to dig up some old toys for trade night or... A lot of these things are on, that are on a shelf I put up or on the overflow table. I just haven't opened them yet. You know, some things were just made. Some things just may stay in their container. But, you know. Some boxes I don't, I don't throw away. And then I keep the boxes from, you know, Amazon orders. Um, also, I keep my supplies from um, the Artist Alley and stuff in here. So, it's getting a little crowded in this this closet. But, you know, I'm glad, I'm glad it's here. You have like a second Batman. <laughs> and that, yeah. I got the, the one I did open. It was only three bucks at Target, but the leg keeps popping off. But I just said, Trade night it goes. Yeah, these are empty boxes. I don't know. I mean, do you guys, you who keeps their boxes with stuff they open that may not even be worth anything? Who knows? I just don't know. I just think maybe one day I want to sell Cloak and Dagger and I'll have the box, right? So, <laughs> some of these boxes have Funko Pops in them. Not not all the Funko Pops made it to the shelf. So yeah, it's a yeah, it's 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 so random in here. I I I could be a little bit more organized, maybe put up some more shelving. But and then you know the, I, I'm a hoarder of art supplies too. Um, I know some artists, some artists are like that. I buy a bunch of shit, um, paint, old paint, tape. But let me let me show you something. Show you guys something that's kind of unique. Oh, check this out. You remember this game? It's called. It was for Super Nintendo. It's called Spider-Man X-Men Arcade Revenge. Mm. You can play all these characters. 
It was like a side scroll game. Yeah, I didn't know I still had the instruction booklet. But here's an exclusive. Some of my um I never did I ever show you these? My custom figures I used to make no. in middle school. These are all the way from the mid 90s. I was and the thing is you can tell you can tell, you can tell what some of these characters were. They used to be Batman. These characters are called my war gods. And if you guys ever looked on my um Instagram and see me do some artwork, war gods are characters I created who are like gods who have you know they're like the greek gods mixed with power rangers meaning they have different colors and themes to them mixed in with like um roman mythology yeah they're they're very shabby man very you should shabby. have these out i know man but look <laughs> look how cruelly painted they were i mean it is this, is, it is. this is this is this is literally the raw imagination of like my 14 year old self like i would just sit up all day drawing these sometimes i even is have this to... the mexican superhero <laughs> no <laughs> he's got mexico colors green yeah red. man <laughs> man he's kind of tan right that needs I'm, I'm sorry sir but that looks very uh lucha librador lucha li yeah, 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 yeah. Look at that. well you know what i do like got I mean... the rhinestones on the back I dude mean... man i i was going in with these characters i was buying paint from the craft store some of these, let me see if I can figure out, like, some, like, this is, this used to be Batman animated series. That was Batman, you know, this, I, I even turned one of my Silver Surfers into, um, a custom figure. Some of them were old Power Rangers, sometimes I'll take the hits. Yeah, I mean, you went through the detail, man, if you look at there, you have the little Dude. wire going through it, the cloth, painted it. I thought I showed you these before. No. This used to be, um, what's his name, Longshot. <laughs> the Longshot. Yeah, I can see it. This used to be Silver Surfer. That's another reason why I'm collecting a lot of the old toy base figures again, because I ran out of figures to like customize, so I'll start using my good figures. Yeah, these 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 are my war gods. This was this used to be Pyro. He still kind of looks like Pyro, so I just made him the war god of fire, Infernus. Some characters look. I have to put boobs on them. If I ever if I ever got to the point where I'm gonna get back into customizing or redrawing these characters, I will. Um sometimes I used to I used to have to take hot glue and put them in a the mold. Look at that. I would put a toothpick in there and they're like, damn, I got a full figure. And <laughs> we'll just start painting. But this is me being creative, buddy. Yeah, it's a little history lesson. So yeah. Okay. okay. So yeah, I got a lot of art supplies here. Um bit of a like I said, bit of an art supply hoarder. Uh, these blue containers right here, these are all full of comic books. All of my collection, all the way from about 2003, all the way to like 2000, but to present basically, because I still will fill one of these containers, but or I'll get one of the, the boxes now. But these, and then these right here, those are all filled with comic books. All, and when I had Curtis over here and we looked through them, I didn't realize what gems I was sitting on. So I got to really go through those books and see what i got to get some stuff graded so all right so now i'm down here looking at avery's imaginary frog it's not even in here i've never seen anything in here I swear to god this first time i've ever seen this light come on i don't see anything in there it's one of those invisible frogs i thought i saw a show about that one time Like, I really thought that this was just for show, like a lamp or something, but there's a frog in there somewhere. All right, let's look at other stuff that he's got in here. He's got the little Funkos. Jeez, what's Batman doing over here, man? Got them all tied up. I wonder if he has a magic word that he says. He's been through a lot of... E. I'm serious, that's not going to get built. It's not going to get built. It's like all pimped out on this one right here, though. Look at that. Got the gold. 
That's what he looked like before. Hard time, sucked up. Made a little money. Look at him. I think he Xeroxed that and put that in there that he won that. I've never seen them having a, uh, an actual Girl Scout Troop 270 feet. That's who he took it for. He snatched it from the Girl Scouts. Little Girl Scouts run around. Oh, we're missing our, our thing. But no. Like real talk, honestly, it's just, this is this with our movie reviews and everything. It's cool that he has like a a room you can work and display all this stuff. All in one room, you just walk in here and kind of take it all in. That's pretty dope. Yeah, so this is the armory. This is where I sit and work. This is where I draw. This is where I put my collection. This is where I shoot videos and take pictures of my toys and you know, this room has just been a real blessing, and I love it. It's a nerd haven. So, what do you guys, you guys will call fandom birds? Thank you for coming to buy fandom birds. Oh, you got to go home, but you got to get the hell up out of here. Damn, didn't mean like MTV <laughs> Cribs. It's horrible, I'm on my one. I'm going to be out here anyways. <laughs> I'm all alone. There's no one here besides me. All right, fan numbers YouTube. This has been our third collection showcase here at my collection room, the Armory. This your boy Arm. Boy Louis G. And we, we are, are fan numbers. Peace.